Historically, the Education Ministry and School Administration have utilized the Termly Gathering as a forum for working together, sharing ideas and best practices, and brainstorming new ways to face new difficulties and exploit upcoming possibilities. Education Minister Honorable Sean Edward says a concerted effort including all relevant parties is necessary for educational achievement. The minister praised the school administrators for their contributions to education and urged them to assist students to develop the necessary skills they will need to succeed not just in their own communities but also on a regional and even global scale. You cannot adequately be compensated in terms of your monthly salary for what you do. And I know today it is more difficult for you than it would have been for your predecessors 20, 10, 20 years ago. The range of issues you have to deal with even before you can provide clinical supervision for lesson delivery. These things consume a lot of your time and it weighs you down in, in, in ways that you never even imagined when you agreed to take the job. But we cannot surrender. Minister Edwards says a principal's position is even more critical now than it was ever before. The minister has stated that a secure school environment is essential for quality education. As the school climate recovers from the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, another threat to the education system emerges in the form of gun violence. Whatever obtains in the wider society will invariably infiltrate the school system. So if we have a problem on our hands nationally with guns, where people have guns in every pocket of this country, invariably guns will find themselves in the school system. But that does not make it acceptable. Acting Deputy Chief Education Officer Beverly Diodoni says school supervision is continuing to pursue its transformative agenda as it seeks to foster a culture of excellence, equity and continuous improvement. Education, she says, has been confronted with new technologies, evolving pedagogies and diverse student needs, which require a shift in mindset and embrace of these new realities. It is imperative that we embrace these changes and adapt our practices accordingly. Let us be forward thinking as we explore cutting edge teaching methods, leverage digital resources, and empower our educators with the necessary tools to excel. Collaboration and decision-making colleagues are critical to the transformation of our education system. Ms. Diodoni says collectively stakeholders in education have a wealth of knowledge and experience that can help make sound judgments and formulate sound policies to take the sector into the next decade. From the Communications Unit of the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney reporting.